Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. In this video, we're going to be checking out the prologue for Backbone, which is a dystopian noir point and click adventure game with a really amazing looking pixel art art style. This has been recommended to me by my friend Clay, Terminally Nerdy, and also Scum and Villainy, so it, it comes highly recommended. I don't know an awful lot about it, to be honest. The full game is out, but I'm not really sure, sort of. Um, what that's like. It's got a bit of mixed reviews from what I've seen, but we're going to give the prologue a go and, and um, see what it's like. So let's jump in with the new game and we'll see what this looks like. Pretty cool. Act 1, prologue. I don't know if it has voice acting or anything. We'll see. But yeah, the pixel art is just lovely. Smoking in the tub. Nice. So yeah, we play as a, a raccoon detective, I believe, which is pretty cool. Is that the phone ringing? Yeah, it is. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Okay. Guess we're cleaning up then. <laughs> okay, use A, D, or arrows to move around. Press E to interact with objects. Okay, so we use the keyboard. Interesting. Okay. Uh, inspect the corkboard living room. Let's inspect the corkboard, shall we? Wow. Look at this. Uh, wow, there's a lot on here. Well, most of our food is grown. Wild, widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. So that's the greenery. Uh, West End. No one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. Who's this? Ah, Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. <coughs> okay. Uh, my diploma project, Places of Absolute Solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. <laughs> nice. Village. Lower middle class, Ville. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there on the border with West End. Okay, Vale Town. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy halls, I've not been for a long time. Granville. Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Docks, where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Gas Town, that's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it's nice and clean, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes. Big shots and gated communities. They can keep it. <laughs> nice, who's this? Mama Helen Lotor taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Okay, so... Ooh, case files. Can we look at the case files? Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably bin some of these old case files. Inspect the desk. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Hmm, okay. How, what can we drag and drop? Do we... Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> okay, maybe we can't drag and drop this stuff. Maybe we were able to drag and drop the um, the bowl. Is there a way we... Did we, like, properly pick that up, or... I think we did. Let's, let's have another look at it. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we picked that up. I'm not sure why we picked it up. Maybe we've got to take it to the kitchen? He did say about cleaning up, didn't he? So, perhaps that's what we've got to do. Uh, media set gotta hit up Frankie to, fi to fix it whenever I have cash, so never. <laughs> okay. Notes on a fridge. Call mum, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Well, that's pretty to the point. <laughs> I'll give him that. Photochemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning, or a great soup. <laughs> I don't know about great. Right, out the window, what's there? Hard to get tired of this view. It looks pretty nice. We can't really see it that well. Right, let's put the dishes in there. I'll wash these later. Probably not. No, probably not. Uh, the toilet. Do we have to do anything in here? Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Right, so... Is that... Have we tidied up now? Was that all we had to tidy? Uh, yeah, we... Hang on. What was that? Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. Heh. <laughs> okay, so we had to put that there as well. Ah, knocking at the door. That must be Mrs. Green. Let's open the door. Ooh. Odette. 
Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Okay, so we've got three things. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. How is your day going? That's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Hmm. Let's be nice. Okay. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please, Odette is fine. The first kid? You got it. How can I help you today? You didn't say much when we spoke before. Let's make some small talk. Third, actually. Uh, I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about a babysitter. Ha, huh, must be a handful. They can be, but they're the silver lining every day. I bet they're adorable. Uh, I bet they're adorable. <laughs> I bet they're adorable. <coughs> they are. Daisy, my eldest especially, she takes good care of Elliot. So, how can I help you today, Odette? I like the music as well, it's pretty cool so far. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing? I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> let's, let's just go for option two. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Uh, you suspect he's cheating on you. You tried to talk to him about it. Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Uh, court, are you filing for a divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof for debt. I'm taking the case. Uh, okay, are you filing for a divorce then? <clears throat> That's right, and above all, I need some something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Uh, okay, your husband will want the kids then. I, I can't take any chances anymore. Uh, okay, but... Has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. Uh, uh, okay. I work better when I know everything. I'd really rather keep a few boundaries. Okay, fine. Uh, tell me how you caught on to the affair then. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. Uh, what kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Hmm. He's skipping work? I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. Uh, and you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. <clears throat> uh, how late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hmm, so was he aggressive about it then? I can't see this. how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. Uh, personal details can make, break, or case. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Uh, okay. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Sure. What do you need to know? Uh, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him, usually? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Uh, have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Uh, okay, where does he work? At the Woof Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. Uh, what's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Okay, and how would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, that should be enough. That's just a matter of my fee. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Uh, yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this, I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't, all I can do is my best. I care about my clients, your problems are my client. Uh, my pro sorry, your problems are my problems. I can't read today, what's going on? Don't let me down, Mr. Lotor, I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it, call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Okay, so we've got a new objective. So we've got to go and take a picture of him then. Uh, is there... How do we get our camera or do we already have that handy? 
I'm guessing we probably already have it handy, right? So, is there anything else? No, we don't want to do anything else there. Alright, well I guess we head out. To Granville then. So far so good, I'm really liking the story and everything. It's, it's quite well put together. Something tells me he's maybe into something quite dangerous though. Oh, look at this. This looks great. I love this art style here. Oh, it's like a title. It's Backbone. Cool. That was really good. Granville. Wow, look at this place. Oh my god, look at the reflections in the water. The purple and green lights in it. That is incredible. Wow, this looks absolutely stunning. This is so good. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Okay, there's a squirrel here. Uh, how's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Uh, you could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Alright, goodbye then. Right, we don't, I don't want to sort of just tell everyone what we're doing. Hold shift to run. Oh, nice. This looks so cool. I love the lighting and everything. Look, wow, look how bright those lights are. That's amazing. That looks so good. All right, let's talk to a Natalie. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Uh, my beaver, how are you and Estrella and the kid? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good, great. We even, bless the shepherd, got a second lad you soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. Essie is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story, I tell her. Ha! Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Ah, uh, ha, funny. And so, ha, she just get, turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, women, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So, we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're going to have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, bro, what is it? Uh, aha. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. Uh, there's a catch? You and Mama are going to have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies because Daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha ha ha! Uh, wow, that got depressing fast. You okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? Uh, I'm looking for a guy. It seems like we can trust him, right? Yeah, I've seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Uh, any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Uh, did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seems strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. He smelled... His smell did enough talking for both of us. I wonder what he smelled of. Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume. Herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Alright, thanks. Take care, my man. Right, so... We've got to find that place, he said. I don't think it's here, is it? No. Must be further down the street. I wonder how we view the objectives. God, it's so... Look, it's even water on the camera. It's so well done. Rogue. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. I've got to say, so far, I'm very, very impressed by this. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Well, the bite is where we're going. The bank. Woof bank. Is this where green works? Ah, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? So there's a banker here. Uh, yeah? You folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Uh, is Jez around? And who are you? Uh, Wallace. 
been looking everywhere for him. You and me both, pal, and Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Uh, when was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? Uh, did something happen? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Uh, okay. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. Hmm, I wonder if he's there now then. How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, rack. Alright, fine. Screw you. Guess we're going to the bite. Oh, the bite's right here, okay. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Okay. Hank. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Uh, perhaps it, my friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. Yeah, of course. Get lost or I'll bash your head in. Okay, can we... What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Alright, we can't get in there then. Maybe there's a way in through the alley. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Oh, it looks a bit dangerous down here, doesn't it? Larry. What else we got? Nothing down here. Stay vigilant. What's that? Intercom. Okay. Let's talk to Larry. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry. The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ah, who you calling old, you old rascal? Ha ha, alright, that's fair. Plus these rags slightly don't help my appearance any. Uh, so, do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, can I help in any way? Not really, thank you though. Now what's your deal? Uh, have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Uh, can't tell. Must be a shifty guy, what's he like? Uh, here's a photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Okay, I've got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Uh, have any ideas how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Uh, why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen he helps people cut the line. His clients, I think. Uh, what do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth. So lots of rumours floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The bear family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. Uh, okay, so it's a relative? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumours? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. Now she's got an ape for a lover. Or that she, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Alright, what does Johnny sell? Your typical, like, hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey Butt? <laughs> yeah, word is this new thing's the shit. Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Uh, does it have a kind of herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Alright, thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. Right, so... We've got to go to Johnny the Squirrel, then. Is that the guy we spoke to right at the start of this area? I'm guessing it's not that one. Maybe it's the, it's the guy that we spoke to in the doorway all the way down here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, are you Johnny? Who's asking? Uh, name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? Uh... I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Uh, hope they sell monkey butt through you. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, Striper? Uh, just a room in the scan around, so will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. Uh, but you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in, for good reason. Say I make you simp... Sympathi simpatico? What does Johnny get in return? Uh, okay. 
Johnny gets not to be introduced to the cops. Tread lightly, punk. I will take you into an alley and fuck you up if you're not careful. Uh, okay. What should we do here? See that police dog down the street? I bet Downey would love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? I got nothing on me. I was just playing. What are you going to do, bitch? Okay. Uh, what's that in your pocket then? Are you just happy to see me? Are you on something right now? Uh, trust me, I'm not. I don't trust stripers, let alone ones in trench coats. Uh, bit rich coming from a bushy-tailed corner boy, don't you think? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Uh, I wonder if we have to sort of... I, d I don't know, maybe we... I, d I don't know what we've got to do here. I'll get you in, but you have to got to leave me alone, okay? There we go. So we've managed to basically annoy him so much that it will get us in so we leave him alone. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for this one because I want you guys to go and play this for yourself because it looks absolutely brilliant. I think it's really, really cool. Go and play the prologue and then if you enjoy it, um, why not go and check out the full game as well because it's available on Steam. So... Um, I've really enjoyed this. I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps you to push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it and join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>